everyone and welcome. My name is Rikia, I'm the Tweenie Stitcher and this is a channel about cross stitch. Today is Sunday, May 26th, 2024 and I'm here for another cross stitching update. Can't believe I'm back already since I only filmed last week but I had so much progress in the past few days that I really wanted to share it with you. It is quite of a gloomy day today so I hope the lighting is all right but let's get into it. So after I saw you last, last week, I picked this one up again. It's by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It's their Arctic Animal Sal. It's a secret stitch along which means you don't know what the pattern is going to look like. Each, each month they release a clue. This one was the first clue. They released this about two weeks ago. I started it last week. And the second clue is going to be released, I think, June 13th. So I have a bit of time left, which is fantastic because I still have a fair bit to go. I'll pop in pictures before pictures if I have them. And this is where I got to. Last time you saw it, I already started the first fox. And after I last filmed, I started in on the second one. This is stitched on the cord for fabric. 14 count Nocturne by Picture This Plus and it's 2 over 1 full cross. It's going to be quite a big pattern but I'm really enjoying this. I had hoped that I could put this pattern in Pattern Keeper but I didn't manage to do that. So we're just tucking along with the paper pattern but it's it's a good pattern so it's easy to follow then next i worked on the t-rex it's by Sil silver creek samplers and i love this one and so do you because all the comments on my previous video were about this pattern I started with the dyno, then I worked on these letters and in the past few days I worked on these. So I'm stitching this 2 over 1 full cross on 18 count vintage mocha and this is where I've got to. So I worked on the A and the E, started in on the T and this is a pattern I did put in Pattern Keeper. It's just easier for me to see. And um, well, it's lucky that this one is also a paper pattern. Because, well, I'll share that with you in a bit. I wasn't always able to use my tablet this week. But loving it, loving how the letters look and the progress. So those were my on-the-go stitching, just grab and stitch when possible. Then last week I also set a few goals for myself because beginning of the year I started with 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 go. It's from Jessie Marie Dustaf. I'll link her channel below. And I am so far behind. So one of the previous draws was this one. I finally printed the cover page. It's Beauty and the Beast and I'm stitching this for my daughter. She loves it. And I was hoping to get 1000 stitches because I had Monday off and this was slotted for Monday and Tuesday. And I'm happy to say I did 1532 stitches. I finished some of the blue and then went in with the brown. 
it's stitched on 18 count, 2 over 1, 4 cross. It's so bright. Love it. Can't wait to have this finished though. Next focus piece was also a previous Whip Go Gaul uh, -go -go that was drawn. It's QS Hansel and Gretel, artwork by Scott Gustafsson and charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I had the full version before and I also had started it but I saw someone finish it and I didn't like it at all, how it's stitched up. So you fight that one and restarted this one and it's for the children anyway. So I was hoping to get 500 stitches on this one because it's a heaven and earth designs. It has so much more confetti than Beauty and the Beast. And Wednesday and Thursday I had to work. But I'm happy to say I did over a thousand stitches. I'm all across the pattern. It's a large black block, so that stitched up quite easily. I did 1019 stitches on this. And then I realized when it was first called for whip go, I already did. 800 stitches. So this year it already got 1800 stitches, which is fantastic. It's stitched on 25 count, one over one, four cross. Still working in the dark colors, but this is where the boy's head starts and the lighter colors come in. His hat has a lot of confetti. But I'm really looking forward to the brighter colours. Next up was another focus piece. I also wanted to uh, do 500 stitches on this one. It's Lan. It's a custom chart by Michelle from Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm stitching this for my mum and I had hoped I only slotted this for one day, so I was hoping to get 500 stitches. But this one also got 1,120, so 1,120 stitches. Let's see how I can fold it properly. And this is where I've got to. So what I did was just fill in from about here down and over here that's all I did but that was over a thousand stitches in black it's 18 count two over one so it's quite easy to stitch on love it also this one I can't wait to get into the brighter colors but I'm trying to finish the outline first so that was all my progress but the reason I couldn't, I'm sorry, my chair is making awful noises. I hope you can't hear them too much. But the reason why I couldn't always use my tablet was because my daughter had a new start. She previously worked on those canvases, those kit kits that are with wool and um, Yes, with the pre-printed canvas, but she really wanted a real pattern. And she chose this one, Snow White. It's from the same designer as the Beauty and the Beast. And I thought I would need to help her with the outline, with all the black. But she's stitching that herself. Of course, I have to be close because she's six years old and sometimes doesn't know which way to go. But she's stitching it herself. I'm really proud of that. And she started this on Thursday, I believe. And she already has over 150 stitches. This is where she got to. It's in 14 count Ada. Two over one full cross. She even picked out her own needle minder. 
so it's she's stitching up quite neatly she did all the black and started in on the blue she needed some color so i'm really really proud of her so she'll be waiting for this downstairs to start stitching again and talking about new starts i want to start this pattern world's best teacher it's also by the frosted pumpkin stitchery i will be stitching this for my children's teacher my daughter is moving up a year and my son is changing schools i wanted to start this a little earlier but i was still waiting for my fabric and it finally arrived it's it's pushing out a bit on camera, but it's by Picture This Plus. It's beautiful. It's got Mystic. I thought it was a 14 count, but it looks quite a bit smaller. So maybe it's a 16 or even an 18 count, but that's okay. I chose a larger count because they can shrink, of course, during the dyeing process and because it's a pretty small pattern. So I wanted a large account, but I love this fabric. It's gorgeous. I will be start stitching on this tonight. Can't wait. So into plans. Um, of course, I will be starting my new start tonight. My daughter will probably be stitching on her pattern tonight. And after that, um, just looking at my notes, I will work on the Arctic animals, of course, trying to get the first clue finished before the second clue comes out. Must be doable. I will not be finishing the, this though during this week because I had two days off last week, so I We'll be working extra this week because we're really short start. But I'll try my best to get some more filled in. Then, of course, I will be working on the T-Rex. Where is it? Let's see. I will be working on this one. You just saw this one. And... Then I also will be working at the Litter Dragon. You haven't seen this one in a while. It's, where is it? Oh dear. Ah, there it is. Artwork by Randall Spangler. Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I started this pattern the same week as I started that one. That's one, that's one has been hanging on my wall for quite a while already so it's time to finish this one um that's not going to happen soon but i'm trying to get 500 stitches on this one i also said that with the hans and gretel and the lamb last week however this one doesn't have any large box of color and this one i I'm trying to start the square mat. It's all over the place. So I'm trying just to pick a color in the corner and work that color in until my thread finishes and then pick the second color and so forth. Because with this pattern, I've often just been looking at it and going, Ugh, where to start? I don't know, but I really, love it so i really want to get this finished i think i'm already at 35 percent or something so this will get 500 stitches i hope and then of course i will be working on lamb and i will hope to get a thousand stitches on this one a thousand because I will be just working in the black, no confetti. So I think that's doable. And those are my plans. 
I have been catching up with Wibgo, as you could see. I've got my board over here. The next numbers were drawn for June already. I will not show them yet because I won't be working on them yet. This is the board. I'm so far behind. But I finished three this week. I'm hoping to finish two more goals, the new start and the other lamb that was called. So I would be catching up a bit before summer. I think I'm a bit enthusiastic with my planning, but I hope to be able to share with you soon. And see you soon. Happy stitching. Bye.